probably the bait that 95% of the fish in my boat have been caught on this year when I'm fishing in Grand Lakes. It's a chatty bait. But now the big question is, now that you've given me like the test bait, what are you actually fishing? Right there, <laughs> same thing, same color, same like, everything. Oh, it wasn't the old, this works, man. Trust me, this one is yeah. the killer. No, 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 <laughs> it works. All right, we're changing things up today. It was a beautiful day yesterday, but the rain has come in, at least for this morning. Perfect time to go fishing. Fish bite whether it's raining or not. And so I've hooked up with RJ of RJ and Birdie's Outdoor Adventures. Thank you for having me. Good to see you again. <laughs> and we, we've actually, we go back a long way. A long it was about way. 12 or 14 years Not ago we first met. So. Yeah. And, uh, and he's been avoiding me ever since. <laughs> <laughs> so you bring me out in the rain. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, you know what? It's, uh, it's dark, we won't be able to see you as well. It's a perfect time to film with you. <laughs> Face for radio. <laughs> uh, but we're on the upper Yep, we're Rideau. on the upper Rito, one lock above Big Rito. And so what are we doing today? We're gonna be throwing moving baits for largemouth and smallmouth to kind of patrol in a flat here. Just We're actually just out front of Westport here. So hoping for a few bites, it's raining, but fish bite better in the rain, you think? And if not, well, there's always an excuse for not catching fish. Oh, I got them all. <laughs> well, I'm gonna hop in the kayak. You're gonna show me how it's done from the boat. And uh, we should have some type of wager here, I, I imagine. Uh, whatever you want. Well, beer is always beer. the best thing to, <laughs> to bet on. Sure, sure. We'll, we'll think about what we're gonna bet on, but uh, let's, uh, let's hit the water. Beauty, let's go. All right, RJ. So this is the upper Rideau, but the Rideau Canal system has just a ton of fishing and different types of fishing too. All the way from Ottawa right to Kingston, there's great fishing in every lake as you go along, right? So you've got the Rideau River that turns into a series of lakes as, as you make your way back down to Kingston through the lock system. But every one of them has great fishing in it, bar none. And different fishing too, because I actually, now, I came up here with some musky gear. Last time I went fishing on the Rideau was years ago, right around Ottawa, and we were musky fishing. Yeah. But uh, you looked at yeah. musky gear and you were like, uh, yeah. you can put that away, Ken. Yeah. No, they, for whatever reason, they don't travel any further up than the river. They don't make it into any of the lakes. And even from the St. Lawrence, they're in the St. Lawrence where the Rideau system dumps into, and they don't come into that first lake either. The, no one really knows why. It's probably good for the local populations that they don't because they tend to eat other Slaughter. fish. But, but that's, that's fine, right? There's, it's part of the ecosystem, but they just don't make their way into these systems. Yeah. So if you want to throw musky baits, go ahead, but I get you with this. <laughs> Speaking of which, we do need a bet. I'm still thinking about what the bet's going to be for. I mean, is it going to be biggest fish overall? Is it biggest largemouth, biggest smallmouth, or do we have classes there? I where... would say biggest fish overall. Okay. Or most, up to you. Mm. you, want you know what? I feel like I have a better chance of stumbling upon success by one? with one good one <laughs> than trying to beat you with, with quantity. <laughs> one good one. And the loser has to carry the kayak back to your boat. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Oh, first blood. One nothing. <laughs> oh, he's not here yet. Remember, it's not quantity. <laughs> it's That's quality. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's a quality fish. <laughs> he thumped it. So that's the way you're playing. That's the way I'm playing. <laughs> Early and often, hopefully. Uh, quality and quantity. <laughs> wow. We won't weigh him. <laughs> that is, that's a good starter. Wakes the back up in the morning. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that feeling. <laughs> oh! Oh, I'm sorry. 
I'm that guy. I birds nested and I lost the bait. But clearly it wasn't the lucky bait. It was the the test bait that RJ gave me to see. I wonder if this thing can actually catch fish. So now he's kind of forced, now that he's got a couple of fish in the boat and he's he's leading the charge, he's kind of forced to give me a winner. It strangely looks exactly like <laughs> the one that I had on. <laughs> it's the scent. <laughs> it's something. <laughs> yeah, friend, you're lucky. I'm gonna get out in that six to eight range. It's not far. There's one. Ooh, that might be a good one. Might be hooked funny or it's oh, a good one. Oh, look at that. Either way, they're good. Keeping its head um, down, that's for sure. That's a nice one, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, now, not only is the pressure off you, but the pressure's on me. The pressure's on you now, man. See how you handle it. <laughs> well, you, you actually, you saw how I handled it. What I did, that was all a strategic backlash and losing of the bait. I was trying to break your mojo. You were in a, you were in a, in a groove there. We'll see what happens. I was just changing things up. How about that? Not a bad one either. <laughs> so what you got there? I think this is called a fish. <laughs> I haven't really seen, I don't know if I've seen one of these before. <laughs> nice! Right off that point, eh? Yep, right off the point. That's a nice fish. They all, every fish, well, every fish you've caught and the one I've caught has been really nice and healthy. Yeah. Right on. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Where there's one. Oh, a fish. He's hot now. And a little salad with it. Whoa. Come on over, fishy. <laughs> what is this thing? Is that is that one of them, them fish things? That's a bass. <laughs> you never know. I haven't seen one of these today. Yeah. That's a nice fish. Very nice. Well, we are done. RJ won the bet, biggest fish, but I still think I came out ahead because we have to stop fishing because he has to get his face cut open for good old dental surgery. So in the end, he went. You win. win. <laughs> <Crazy> spots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, RJ, a man of my you, word. You appear to be a man of your word. I am. I concede. I work for beer, apparently. <laughs> you win, I biggest win. fish. Appreciate it. That was awesome. Fun few hours, man. Yeah, that That's was just really... a taste of what's out here. Yeah, a lot more to explore, and I've got three more days of exploring. But you have some dental work to get to. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> so, I'm thrilled. Yeah. We'll, um, we'll do it again. Right we won't on. wait 14 years this time to, to fish. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Well, it was an awesome morning of fishing. It was wet, but it was it was a beautiful morning anyway. But we finished, went in for a hot shower. <laughs> I love the fact that there's hot showers in every room in these boats. Uh, come out and boom, it's almost bluebird right now. Beautiful day. Hopefully it sticks around. 
We're at Westport, another really cool town along the, uh, the, the Rideau Canal waterway. We're going to do a quick uh, exploration of the town, check it out, and, and hopefully the sun sticks around. Well, of course, the first stop in Westport is going to be the winery. And it also happens to have one of the finest pizza restaurants. They say not only in Westport, but in the province. We'll soon be the judge of that. We're at Shireman's Winery. It's a family run winery, really cool place, but it does. It has a pizza restaurant here too, specialty pizzas. They grow all the grapes they need for their wines here. This is what the goodness that comes from their hard work. And the work paid off. Now to try the pizza. Well, yeah, there's four different types of pizzas here to choose from, so I naturally gravitate. That one looks pretty yummy. Vegetarian. Oh wow, that is good pizza. It doesn't matter how closely you look at that, you're not having the same experience that I am right now. <laughs> well, we're gonna explore more of the town of Westport after stopping off for lunch and some wine but we're about to get creamed by a thunderstorm. So I think we better get back to the boat before we pay the price. There's some good lightning bolts happening. Is there? Oh yeah. yeah we <laughs> don't there? want to. Are you talking to the camera? <laughs> Whoa! Big drops. Big drops. Well, we made it back to the boat in the nick of time. The skies opened up. More than just rain. I mean, the wind was howling. It's calmed down a little bit and the hail was falling. That's a storm. That's a solid Eastern Ontario thunderstorm. Here we go again. Oh, more hail. It's like a video game. <laughs> It's like catching leaves in the fall. Instead of catching leaves falling off trees, you get, get to catch hail. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's goaltending practice. Look at all that. That's incredible. We pretty much had the full experience showers and pretty much pouring rain this morning fishing bluebird skies at the winery and now a good hailstorm and rainstorm in the evening here we go again the uh, forecast says that it's supposed to actually get beautiful for the sunset but I guess we'll soon find out. That wouldn't surprise me though. That would be the full spectrum of weather in one day. They left everything. That's it, eh? It blew through. Yeah. Part of me is tempted to, to go out fishing. <laughs> well, the day seems to have come full circle. I'm back in my fishing kayak with the same bait in the same flats that I started the day first thing this morning when it was raining with uh, RJ. But after a few weather changes, we got a gorgeous night and hopefully some big fish that I can send RJ pictures of and maybe win my beer back. You know, anglers, they talk about going through the different phases of an angler's life, where it starts off where you wanna catch any fish, and then you wanna catch lots of fish, and then you wanna catch a specific type of fish, and then you wanna catch big fish, and then you wanna type catch a type of fish a specific way. And with paddling, I found 
it's kind of been the same. There's been this evolution where I was a whitewater kayaker and that's all I wanted to do. And then I discovered other types of kayaking, specifically at that time, uh, sea kayaking and canoeing. And I was like, wow, okay. Now I want to do as many types of kayaking or paddling as I could. That's, I think, the coolest thing about paddling is that you could do it a whole lifetime and keep finding new experiences, new ways of challenging yourself or just new things to do. Like going through the locks here. 30 years I've been paddling. This is only two hours away from me. I've never paddled through locks before. And it was one of the coolest things I've ever done. Yeah, it's just nice to do something that is constantly evolving. Fish on. Well, it's a good one. Oh, it's a good, good one. Oh, wow. Sweet. <laughs> Look at that chunk. That's a nice fish. I don't know, RJ. I think that might win the beer back. That's a pretty, pretty fish. Look at the size of that mouth. <laughs> That's a large mouth. Well, let's let you back in. beauty. That's what I'm talking about. I wouldn't have gotten nearly as excited about that maybe 10 years ago, 15 years ago, but I can't think of anything I'd prefer to do right now than come out as the sun's setting and wet a line, catch a big fat bass on the Rideau Canal. Well, I can think of another thing, catching another big fat bass and even potentially a bigger bass. Every bass we've caught here was good. There's no little dink bass. They've all been solid chunks. They're really just kind of roaming. They're not ghouls of bass. Like uh, RJ was saying, they're a little confused right now whether to whether to come off the the shallows, the flats, or to head to deeper water. The transition time. There we go. That feels pretty good too. Oh yeah. Don't be a pike. Whoa, if it's not a pike, it's a nice bass. No, oh, it's a nice bass. <laughs> That's a good fish. Well, that, that does it. Day three of the Rideau Canal Adventure. Time for dinner. We're gonna barbecue up some burgs and sausages up top and uh, make a plan for tomorrow. It's supposed to be beautiful weather.